Students at the Kigali Integrated College have developed an electronic claims management system to be used in the insurance sector. Kwanga amagaraje ari mu systeme yacu yiyandikishijemo azahita bona ikinyabiziga cyangiritse online babona ati ikinyabiziga cyangiritse bitume bavuga ati ngiye ikinyabiziga nagikora kuri aya mafaranga mu gihe kingana gutse umva ko Garage that have been registered in our system will be able to see right away which vehicles have been involved in an accident. All that happens online. They can then make offers on how much they can repair their vehicle for and how long it will take them. Insurance companies can then decide which is the winning bid and announce it explaining why that garage was chosen, promoting transparency. Spare part sellers will also be able to sell their goods there giving the option for insurance companies to buy their parts and use them in their repair work, as opposed to buying them directly from garages, which can be quite expensive. That will help reduce losses incurred when compensating clients. The creators of the software say it will also help to reduce malpractice when people make such claims, especially when government vehicles are involved. 71% of Rwanda's 40 major software developing companies are able to export their technology, selling their creations in other countries, while another 80 smaller ones also have software they sell. Impacting it quite a no, ne muri services ziza zitangwa murabizi abenshi bamaze kumenyera irembo hari services zihari hari nizindi apps ariko zihari the impact of their work can be seen in the good service delivery provided you know that many are now accustomed to things like irembo and there are many other apps in operation like tap and go in the public transportation system the rba app that many now use to watch on the television the rsb app that allows people to scan products with their phones and tell them if they meet standards Others used by banks, also things like Voba Voba used in e-commerce, where people place orders and things are delivered to them directly. All that is the impact we see these companies having on the country's economy and the lives of people in general. Local software developers are confident in their abilities. Some software are imported into the country at great cost only to fail. Sometimes the developers lack the proper knowledge of the issues on the ground to be able to start from scratch. On the other hand, software developed here do not face that problem because the situation is properly analyzed, which I believe is better than buying systems from abroad that tend to fail. The software is used in different sectors like finance, education, transportation, agriculture and more. Last year, more than 120,000 people were employed thanks to such technology. All that is needed now is more investment from the private sector. University graduates usually have great ideas, but lack the startup capital for those ideas to be implemented. The government certainly has been working to help them, but we cannot do it all by ourselves. We are therefore calling on the private sector to develop the culture of investing in technology startups. People are usually interested in building houses, opening shops and hair salons. But they should realize the opportunities that exist in investing in technology because it now runs the world and provides sustainable income. The government of Rwanda has set up a $100 million fund to help such businesses as a way of accelerating the country's economic growth and build up a knowledge-based economy as a whole. The Ministry of ICT and Innovation has confirmed that by 2024, Rwanda will have 100 IT companies worth 50 million US dollars each and producing software that will be used abroad.